Hi friends, today let us discuss the answer for question number 31 that I have given yesterday. It is from General Studies paper 4, Ethics. In Ethics, Ethics in International Relations, Ethics in International Relations, in that topic I have given the question. So read the question carefully, the question is regarding the international funding. It is saying that international funding is used basically to reduce the poverty and to reduce the malnutrition and you know to improve the infrastructure particularly in the underdeveloped countries however this has been misused and there is a chance of potential misuse in the international funding so in this context they are asking you to discuss various ethical issues involved in the international funding so in this kind of questions when you discuss the ethical issues involved you have to mention both the positive side what are the positive as aspects of international funding as well as negative aspects of international funding and in the conclusion you can tell your suggestions to reduce the negative aspects to reduce this in the international funding so it's better to define what is international funding in the beginning and if possible try to draw small flowcharts or creative diagrams for example I can define international funding in this way. It is financial aid given by, you know, developed countries like USA, US, Japan, etc. or by international organizations like International Monetary Fund, World Bank, any United Nations body or it can be any, you know, philanthropic body. For example, the Melinda Gates, the Melinda Gates Foundation or any other foundation. A Tata Foundation, any other foundation. So, when they give financial aid, financial aid to, you know, underdeveloped countries like sub-Saharan sub African countries or developing countries like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka or, you know, NGOs. Sometimes they fund some NGOs which will work internationally. Not all NGO which not only works in the country, but internationally. Or they fund certain projects. Certain projects, for example, the uh, Bhutan, Bangladesh, India, Nepal, motor project or you know the uh, Kaladar multimodal project, any international projects. So international funding is financial aid given by these kind of bodies to these kind of bodies. So you can define them, either you can write them in lines or you can draw a simple flow chart to make it clear for the evaluator. If you do not have time, you can do these kind of things. However, you can say that though, though the international funding is focused on the development there is a potential chance of exploitation and we will see what are the various ethical issues involved in this. I would always start with the negative aspects so that towards the end of the answer you can write the positive aspects and you can use suggestions. You can end on a positive note. So better to start with the negative note. So what are the negatives? What is the negative side of the ethical issues involved in this? One thing you can say is that most of the international funding comes with certain preconditions. These preconditions may affect the sovereignty of the country. For example, when International Monetary Fund helped India during the balance of payment crisis in 1991, they asked India to open up, I mean to carry out the liberalization, privatization, globalization, LPG reforms. So in one way, they are affecting the economic sovereignty of India. For example, China. When China funds, when China, you know, uh, funds Pakistan or funds uh, Sri Lanka, Generally, they would affect the economic sovereignty of those countries, even USA. For example, when USA is funding Afghanistan, USA is trying to involve in the local politics of Afghanistan and is affecting the political sovereignty of Afghanistan. In this way, the international funding can affect the sovereignty of the, the countries which are receiving the funding. Another aspect is the neocolonialism. As now, as per United Nations, colonialism is not accepted what countries like china are doing is countries like china are funding sri lanka pakistan giving heavy loans to them and bringing them into a trap like debt trap so that those countries have have no other option than listening to what china says what china dictates dictates in the local society politics or economy similarly another negative aspect of international funding is the funding coming from arab countries towards uh, you know developing the Islam or funding coming from the USA or UK towards development of Christianity in other countries 
in these ways also for religious homogeneity or for you know increasing their religious population or religious conversions certain kind of international funding is happening for example the jakir naik case the jakir naik you know need to explain the jakir naik case you can simply say jakir naik case is an example of uh, this kind of international funding friends be careful when you write this kind of points these are sensitive issues so if you can write in a good language write them otherwise leave this issue but don't hurt the sentiments of the evaluator if the evaluator belongs to any one of the religions so better to leave them if you do not know how to address it in a sensitive way another thing is certain kinds of funding happen to obstruct the development also for example it is said that when kodankulam project came up in tamil nadu certain countries have funded local ngos of tamil nadu to fight against kodankulam project so of course certain organizations genuinely raised the issues against nuclear projects but there are certain ngos which are funded by other countries to stop the development projects coming from russia similarly another ethical issue involved is proxy war or cold war for example if you take syria in syria both russia and usa are funding opposite political parties opposite groups in syria this kind of international funding is in one way a proxy war or cold war between russia and usa same thing is happening in the yemen also in the yemen crisis same thing happened and even in many countries certain political party uh, would be take, getting funding from usa some from the china china or from russia so this kind of international funding is actually unethical because they are not looking at development there they are looking at you know uh, their power politics within other countries and another aspect is insurgency for example classical case of india in india the khalistan movement gets international funding from pakistan terrorist organizations or the sub certain cessation cessation bodies in for example kashmir uh, certain board certain organizations which work for separation of kashmir kashmir or separation of punjab or separation of nagaland actually they get funding from pakistan and some other countries too international funding another thing is funding of political parties as i told you already for example china fund certain political parties in maldives to come into the power so that maldives would do what china dictates now let's come to the positive aspects of uh, international funding for example moral obligation the developed countries feel it's their moral obligation to help the developing countries particularly for example take kyoto protocol under the united nations framework convention on climate change in kyoto protocol the annexed b countries industrialized countries accepted to reduce their you know carbon footprint accepted to reduce the emissions and in fact they accepted to help the developing countries in green projects because they feel that historically they are responsible for polluting the globe hence they have to help the developing countries by funding the green projects or funding technology uh, another cost aspect is humanitarian grounds for example when the big countries the portugal italy greece spain you know particularly greece particularly greece when greece fell under economic crisis the you know european central bank and some other uh, large organizations bailed out greece to help the population of greece to come out of the economic crisis so such kind of international funding is on humanitarian grounds even for example certain large organizations for example gates bill gates has uh, earned profits because of selling microsoft products throughout the globe so they felt it is a responsibility to help the uh, poor countries globally and they have formed the milk the gates foundation and they funded heavily for fighting the malnutrition fighting aids you know or fighting poverty across the world they have funded some of the projects in india too as a, you, you can even call them as corporate social responsibility similarly collect responsibility for example as due to globalization that their world is becoming a global village so it's a collect responsibility of every country to help their neighboring countries help the poor countries you know to come out of the poverty to come out of the malnutrition so in that way uh, uh, there is a lot of positive angle for international funding now how do you conclude this kind of questions as i tell you as i always tell you try to bring in india in any international question try to bring in india in the conclusion you can say that is responsibility of every nation uh, for to fund the underdeveloped countries because poverty anywhere is a threat everywhere so with that concept 
so however however you have to suggest you have to give a solution to stop the negative side of the international funding you can say that transparency is very important one should know where the funds are exactly going and how the fund is utilized utilization of funds shall be focused there should be international body which monitors the funding and you have to make everyone accountable for international funding accountable the organization re re receiving the funds to what purpose it is using the funds finally coming to india india is one of those countries which do not look at just natural interest as i tell you some some countries like china in international funding they most look into their national interest however india along with our, their national interest india takes it as its responsibility to help uh, globally help the underdeveloped countries globally because we believe in the concept of vasudeva kutumbakam you write something like that in the conclusion for a more better impression friends the question for tomorrow again general studies paper 1 geography is regarding ocean salinity it's a very important topic so better to study about ocean salinity completely and write the answer see you friends bye